Welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today we're going to be learning some awesome science by watching the Blue Angel. The Blue Angels are awesome. They perform some of the most breathtaking, spectacular aerial maneuvers I have ever seen. But do you know how much science there is in these awesome fighter jets? These are F-18 Hornets. And I want to show you how much science you can learn from these jets. Jet engines compress and ignite fuel and air, which causes hot expanding gases to shoot out the nozzle. Jet engines work by creating thrust behind, which pushes the jet through the air. This is a good opportunity to learn what causes planes to fly. Well, planes fly because the wings create lift. The wings on these jets create a lot of lift. To understand how planes fly, it's as simple as this. D-A-D, or deflect air downward. Just remember, Dad. I'm going to show you an easy experiment that lets you feel lift with your hands. Feeling will help you understand and relate to this concept. Next time you're in a car, ask the driver's permission to put your hand outside. If you put your hand outside the window like a wing and you play with the angle so that your hand deflects the air downward, you can feel lift. This is very simple, but you can feel lift as you move forward. By changing the angle of attack, we can generate lift. because of an effect called the Kawanda effect. Curved surfaces also affect the flow of air. The cross section of an airplane wing is called the airfoil. Under the wing, the angle of attack causes the air to deflect downwards. And over the wing, the Kawanda effect also deflects the air downwards. Overall, these two effects combine to deflect air downwards. That is the action, and the equal and opposite reaction is lift. So airplanes fly because of Newton's third law of motion, which states for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Pretty cool, right? This makes Sir Isaac Newton happy. Whoa, that's amazing. The wings of airplanes cause air to move downward, which creates an equal and opposite reaction, which is lift. Do you hear the difference in sound as the jet passes by? The sound waves in front of the jet get squished together because the jet is flying into its own sound waves. So, you hear a higher frequency sound, or a higher pitch sound on the jet, when the jet is coming towards you. And the waves behind the jet are spreading apart because the jet is flying away from them. So, you hear a lower frequency sound, or a lower pitch sound from the jet. This squishing or spreading of waves is known as the Doppler effect. Scientists use the Doppler effect to know if objects are moving closer or farther away. An easy way to remember this is this. Doppler is squishing and spreading. The next bit of science we can learn about from the Blue Angels are sonic booms. A 
sonic boom is the snap that you hear when an object moves faster than the speed of sound or breaks the sound barrier. These planes can fly faster than the speed of sound. The speed of sound is 767 miles per hour. As the jet approaches the speed of sound, it'll catch up with the sound waves coming from the front of the jet. These sound waves will compress and combine until they are released as a shock wave. If you're watching this jet from the ground, then the shock wave will sound like thunder. So a sonic boom happens when a plane catches its own sound waves. If the humidity is right, you can even see the shape of the sonic boom. Isn't science amazing? Flight path towards Captain Doyle's aircraft. They'll climb up through vertical under heavy G as they perform the very difficult five plane line abreast loop. The next bit of science we can learn is about G forces. G force is the force of gravity. The pilots of the Blue Angels are really tough. They have to be able to cope with up to nine Gs or nine times the force of gravity acting on their body. The inertia while flying can either make the pilots feel weightless or many times their own body weight. They have both positive and negative Gs to deal with. Positive G-forces can make all the blood rush out of the pilot's head and make them pass out, while negative Gs can make too much blood rush into their head, which causes them to see red. When you're going up and then you push down, so Gs are pushing blood up into your head. So, don't go up or down too fast. Right, exactly. <laughs> When the plane goes upward too fast, then the pilot's bodies experience a lot of force which results in their body feeling heavier than it is, up to nine times their own weight. And when the pilot goes downward too fast, then the pilot's body starts to experience a lot of negative g-forces. Negative g-forces make your body feel a lot lighter than it really is. Now enjoy some of our favorite highlights from the U.S. Navy Blue Angels.
watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun!